broadcasting with a thousand watts of solar power with a coat hanger on top of a tin shed somewhere near to Pookie. <laughs> it's Optimod on the mix. Hey, Friday night on the mix with the Optimod. Going to show you a new cool trick inside of OBS. And this is a plugin that you can actually get. And I'm going to show you how to get it. It's called Move and how exciting it is to see transitions that are just a little bit different and not just a cut or a fade, but something a little bit more exciting. Let's do it. Okay, folks, here it is, the Move Transition. You can find this from the uh, OBS forum, so I'll put the link in the description below. That's it there. You can copy it from the screen. And basically all we're going to do to start with is just download this sucker and get it going. So hit the download link over here and select the format that you want. In my case, Mac OS. Downloading. All right, let's open it up. Nice and easy like. So depending on your security settings, uh, you may have to do some jiggery pokery with that to actually open it like this. See, it won't let me do it. So you have to go into your settings and be able to do that. And click on install software and you're away. Open up OBS. And inside this section here, you should be able to see move. So I've set mine to 1250 milliseconds. So if you don't find it in there, the other thing you can have to do is start with just this screen over here. Make sure it can be available inside of there. You can go to properties of that one and you can make some changes throughout here and it's really up to you how you want it to look but just have a little play around with all the different things that it can do. You can do a preview transition here so you can sort of see the kind of direction that things are traveling uh, but it's really really simple. So I'm using the hotkeys inside of OBS so if I preload a transition over here and then or a screen over here and then just push my transition. So it's keeping some of the same effects that are there, uh, some of the same scenes, and then they're just moving them together. I think it's really, really clever. Let's try another one. Look at that. Doesn't this look more exciting? It's just far more interesting to look at. Uh, and it's just, just not a clean cut or a, or a basic fade. It, it's, uh, it's, it's nice. It's nice. So if you do have any trouble, just I had a little play around and made sure that I could get in what here what I wanted. You can adjust this uh, how you want. That's this, the, the fade, how speed, how much speed is in it. And this is how I originally got it going, just mucking around with this. And I was like, oh, look at that, that's cool. I can see what's going on and it will fade for you. So make sure you got that loaded in here. You can go quick transitions, you can go add, put move in there, and that will be your default transition. So again, click, add move, so you just click on that one and it will go into that box. I've already got it there, don't need it. Uh, remove it from there. And then every time I do a transition, look at that. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. All right, well, hopefully that's helped and give you guys a little bit more excitement. There's another little plugin down here that I can uh, show you about soon as well, the Spectrum Analyzer. Very cool to have and uh, nice looking on the screen. So there we go, hope that helps and uh, enjoy. Enjoy. Happy streaming.